My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the church celebrates the memorial of the North American martyrs, as they're known, St. Isaac Jogues, St. John de Brebeuf, and companions, the Jesuit companions and priests that uh, separately died were martyred uh, by uh, Native Americans uh, to whom they were doing missionary activity uh, in the territory known as New France in the 17th century. Of course, when we pray with the martyrs, we always remember martyrs for their willingness to die for their faith, their self-emptying, in a sense that the knowing of Christ as the full possession of nothing else being needed, even one's life, even the breath in one's lungs, when one has the Lord Jesus, there is nothing else needed. This is a beautiful backdrop for the gospel passage that we read today. As Jesus warns against greed, he uses this parable of the person who continues to hoard, builds greater plans, you know, bigger barns uh, to, to store away the wealth. And the words that are powerful and striking are, you fool, this night your life will be demanded of you and all of this will be for nothing. Now, this is a warning against greed, and rightfully so. It's a warning against the things that we prioritize in our life. But I would also argue that we can take it as a warning against procrastination in the spiritual life. So often we can put off to tomorrow what we need to be doing today. Now, since we feel the call to greater holiness or to improve in our prayer life, to do better works of mercy, whatever it may be. And we make great plans, or in a sense, we queue it up. You know, once this happens, then I'll do that. Or Here, here's the framework, and eventually I'll, I'll, I'll do this, and I'll be so much holier, I'll pray all the more. And the Lord says, today. What about today? There's no need to procrastinate. In a sense, the great plans are his foolishness in God's eyes. He asks for our fidelity today, whether in martyrdom, which is the, the most grand witness to the faith, but also in the, the white martyrdom of a life just completely given over to God. What can I do today to achieve holiness? What can I do today to give a greater undivided heart to the Lord? What can I do today to pray more, to be better to my neighbor, to do something kind, to do something selfless, to not fall into the same pattern of sin I always do. It's good to make great plans, but it's even better to not wait. Holiness can come through the little things. This would be modeled by Mother Teresa and so many others who made a life out of holiness, out of love, and the little things, St. Therese of Lisieux as well. My brothers and sisters, let us not put off the works of holiness until we have time to build greater barns, make greater plans, get our house in order. But let's start with what we can control today. May God bless you all.